Hello guys, uh, welcome back in this video. Let's explore masking in ZBrush. Right now I've got a model. So when you have a brush in your hand, which could be anything like standard brush or uh, the curve brush, just hold control and then you get a, a brush which is going to mask uh, the result here. So when I'm uh, I'm painting this, I mean when I'm masking it or when I press control, you, you get to see there are different types of mask options given here. So let's say if I uh, just click this and then you should able to see there are a lot of brushes but here in the M series you could see the mask brushes are there okay so uh, let me just uh, go to the mask uh, pen brush which is the default brush type and then you should able to see that's the mask pen and then you could able to click and drag and then you should able to see that black color uh, which is a visual representation of uh, this area is being masked okay so if I just uh, expand this masking menu here, there is option called uh, show mask. Okay, you can press control H to do that. So this mask uh, is generally used to avoid any kind of deformation in this area. Let's say you have a sculpting brush here and then when you sculpt it, it affects uh, the unmasked area and it's not touching the masked area at all. Even you use any deformations like in this case, I'm using the inflate. It's not affecting the model where this area is masked so i can clear the mask by holding control and drag so i need to in empty area just press control just click and drag like that i'll show you once again just paint it by holding control and then to clear it just click and drag but make sure that you press control so when i'm painting this mask here okay uh, it's like a normal brush okay so maybe you can try using any type of alpha and also you can try changing the type of brushes you have here and that ends up giving me the mask which is uh, of a particular shape so I'm going back to the default switching off this and then if I'm holding control as you could see I'm able to paint the mask here if I hold control and alt I can remove the mask just by uh, adding the strokes okay uh, so you can also uh, do one thing that is you can blur the mask here okay you could see that blur mask and then you have sharpen mask anytime when you place your cursor on any of the uh, tools here and hold control then you get a small help here so i'm holding control and click on the model then you should able to see there is a blur in the mask or you can click this blur mask option so we have an option called sharpen mask here so which makes the uh, the masking more sharp you can hold control and shift and then click to sharp the mask here uh, we have options like a grow mask which uh, grows the mask or shrinks the mask here uh, you can also clear the mask with this option here or as i told you you can just click and drag by pressing control you can also inverse the mask by clicking this button here or you can hold control and just click in the empty area and it will inverse the mask here so there are two variations here one is dragging and then clicking so when you click it is going to inverse it when you drag it it's going to clear it so that's what you can do here so i'm clearing the mask here and then you have a whole lot of other variants here so there is an option called rectangle okay so if you pick a rectangle here and then just click and drag you are getting this a rectangular shape uh, mask there okay uh, you can later pick a circle and then you can place that circle like that and then create some uh, complex or compound shapes with it okay later you can use this uh, maybe for a deformation so i'm going to use the inflate and then you should be able to see sort of extrusion i have achieved here so so we have this uh, rectangle just click and drag and uh, let's say you feel that this rectangle placement has to be adjusted then you can just uh, move it anywhere you wanted there by pressing space bar while you have pressed your control intact so control and spacebar both are pressed right now so that i'm able to move it and then release that and then you get that mask at your desired location so when i'm holding control and then as i told you you have a lot of uh, variants here so we have an option called square so when i'm holding this uh, i mean when i'm dragging the square it's uh, giving me a, a square shaped mask here okay and uh, the square shaped mask uh, is a bit different from the rectangle mask let's say when i'm doing rectangle mask the first diagonal point is that and then the release is the last diagonal point for the rectangle however when i choose the square the center is going to be the placement here and uh, you get the square shape and as i told you i can press spacebar i can move it anywhere and i can place it there like that 
so we have a, a circle and ellipse so when i choose the circle just click and drag it's uh, going to give you a ellipse shape okay um, and then if you choose a perfect circle then it's going to give you a perfect circle again you can basically move it uh, out of these four options let's say if i am creating this okay it has masked and then uh, when i'm going to uh, press the space bar i'm going to move it now i pressed control and space bar so that i can able to move the mask now i'm going to press alt and then you should be able to see the circle turned white which will subtract um, that that shape from it again when you want to make that uh, compound shape you can basically do that using uh, you know this tool so we have uh, the lasso tool here so i'm going to select that lasso just to uh, control and then start drawing in any shape you wanted okay and it, it's going to match that way so again i can generally use this and uh, before i release i press alt and then it's going to do this thing uh, let's say I, when I'm drawing, I can also move this mask wherever I want. And then you get this one here. So I, I can place that uh, like that. So we have a mask curve pen. I'm going to select that and then hold control and then draw a curve there. So you got a curve here. Now what I need to do is I need to hold control and then just click and drag and you should be able to see the mask is created along the curve like that. So if you hold control and click in the empty area, that line is going to be cleared. Uh, the brush size what I'm using here uh, uh, controls the fidelity of the curve and then um, when I'm you know uh, holding control and dragging the size of the brush is controlled by the actual brush size so reduce the brush size like that and then hold control and then you get that less sized uh, brush there so that's a small artifact I got undo and then uh, redo there and uh, you should get this one uh, as uh, the resolution of the curve is uh, not fine so i'm drawing the high resolution and then this time i got a smooth curve here now why that that dotted thing has come uh, the reason is when i've drawn that brush the brush size was bigger the fidelity was low and then i reduced the brush and then this was giving me that low resolution or uh, the flow of the brush what we have achieved is very less and uh, yeah it can be a very useful thing um, for masking uh, so we have uh, all these options you can explore so you default one is the mask pen you got circle and perfect circle, rectangle and square and curve pen and lasso tool. So uh, even you can use alpha. Uh, we also have a lot of options here, uh, which are masked by feature options are there, which uh, needs a separate set of video. So for now, this is what we have in this video. Thank you.